Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I kind I kind of remember this. I was confused by uh, the sender, but it, I'll, uh, we'll, we're going to share this moment together. Thanks so much to uh, the people who sent this. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this box. I'm going to make a quick cut off camera. That's because I have to turn the box in a way that reveals my shipping info. Um, I actually have to do it again. <laughs> Give me a second here. We are getting into this not the normal way. Okay. So there we go. Here is the thing. What do we have? John Graham and Mechforce collab ringed rhino. <laughs> I was not, I, uh, I, Megforce to me is the, like the first time I saw Megforce was the company who did like the, the flashlights, which I, I've actually been tempted to buy a few times. I didn't know that they made knives. I know who John Graham is. Um, and you probably, you probably do too. This is not the usual style of knife that I look at, but it was so interesting. I couldn't say no. I will link this down in the description. I'm pretty sure this is something that you can buy right now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, look at that blade. Wow, that is freaking weird. Yeah, it is uh very John Graham. <laughs> so, you know, this, uh, you got the tactical ring on here and you have the very John Graham pocket clip, which I, you know, I've, I've owned knives. This actually is fairly smooth. Um, and in fact, it's very smooth. Um, the detent down here, hold on. Yeah, it's got a good click to it. I don't think there's any movement there. I think it's me pulling the ball back out. Initially, I thought it was going to have kind of a mushy, sloppy detent, but I am incorrect about that. It actually has a nice medium detent. Good thing there's a large flipper tab here that you can definitely, ah, oh man, don't put pressure on the lock bar. But light switch, I, I'd call this medium detent. Push buttoning, it'll get it to rock it out a little faster. Obviously, the blade to handle ratio is going to look a bit off here since we have that karambit ring style, right? And if we, even if we did this, right? It would still kind of, but it has this little sort of rhinoceros. What is the logo here? Is it a gummy bear with half of its head bitten off? <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Yeah, the blade, look at this. So there's a swedge. <laughs> it's just like a clip. What do we call this? A clip point, right? It's a rhino tanto. Um, this, uh, once again, yeah, the ringed rhino. I mean, it absolutely looks like a rhino rhinoceros, like if a rhinoceros was a folding knife. And you have this, you know, tactical sort of karambit style grip, which some people are all about. I'm not necessarily, but, and, and I don't, you know, there's lots of these style knives out there. I just don't normally check them out because number one, they are usually cheap trash. This is not that. This is titanium and M390. Um, and it's made well. The fit and finish on this is very, very good. Um, but uh, usually karambits are kind of synonymous with the cheapy end of the knife world, and the, you know, the not super serious end. Um, every now and then you get one that's actually made by somebody who's, you know, trying to make good quality knives, but just not normally. So normally they're not my style, but this I, I thought was a little bit more interesting. These are solid titanium scales as well. There's nothing, no milling on the inside and fairly thick too. In fact, I want to do a couple of measurements here. This is not the review, just an unboxing and first impressions, but I do want to get a couple of measurements for people, you know, want to know a little bit more about this guy. Wow. Yeah. A hundred and it says 193 thousandths, um, there. And then the tight, I don't normally do this measurement, but we'll go ahead and measure there the titanium scales are 160 these the titanium scales are almost as thick as a regular xm18 three and a half inch blade 
Um, so this is not a little knife. Um, the overall length, though, I don't think it's necessarily a super long knife. Overall length of this guy is coming in at seven and a half. If you want to go from the tip to the end of the handle, it's actually only 6.75 inches. Blade length is 2.75. Cutting edge is two and a quarter. Ergonomically, it's actually pretty, it's actually impressively comfortable. <laughs> This is a really comfortable knife in the standard grip, right? And then in the ultra tactical karambit grip, then, you know, I guess. I, me personally, I've never actually had to hold a knife this way, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let's weigh it. Let's weigh it and find out. I'm just curious. Some people don't actually wait to watch my reviews. I get it, right? So I felt like some of these unboxings, it's nice to, whoops, just get a few specs, uh, here and there. Uh, the weight is 5.82 ounces, so it is definitely on the heavier side. Balance, definitely going to be. You know what? It's, it's really, that's so crazy. I was about to say it's definitely going to be butt heavy, right? I mean, look at this. Hold on. Get out of here. It, I was going to say it's definitely going to be butt heavy because look how much unmilled titanium there is here. And we have this ring back here, which by the way is that's going to be titanium i know people always tell me just because it's not magnetic doesn't mean it's titanium in the case of these knives unless it's i mean i suppose it could be aluminum it looks like titanium to me right but there's so much unmilled titanium here in such a short blade but that's eh, pretty thick you know it's it's a thick piece of steel so somehow this is actually still balancing out fairly within the primary grip zone or the primary the standard like the the initial choil or the primary choil, right? This is actually hollow ground and then this is flat up here. <laughs> the, um, I think it goes without saying that the tip is definitely gonna be strong. Uh, this is not the type of tip you re really need to worry about breaking. Um, I wanna put it in out of pocket here real quick with the, this is so weird. It, yeah, it's, I guess, that is so weird how that fits in a pot. I don't know, I mean this, they sent this to me, so I'm going to carry it, you know, and use it. Kind of want to just slice a piece of paper with it here real quick. I don't know, man. <laughs> this looked interesting. I saw John Graham, and I was like, yeah, better check that out. Eh, the edge is definitely sharp. Factory edge, right? It doesn't prove anything. We're just cutting paper, right? You're still going to be, depending on what you choose to cut. It's really biting in and getting those curly cues. Um, Depending on what you're cutting, obviously experience or your mileage is going to vary. This is a weird one. Uh, I will link uh, where you can get this down in the description. You might have to actually go into the retailer and then search for it. Once again, that's what you're searching for, but I'll provide a link down in the description. My guess is that this is fairly expensive, right? But uh, I'll have more details for you uh, in the full review if you want to wait for that. Um, that's going to be pretty much it today. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Learn how to breathe. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.